Hello YouTube and BMX collectors. I'm not really a BMX collector. Uh, I just wanted the bike I wanted when I was a kid. A little late really, but hey, I saved up twice to buy this bike. My father wouldn't buy it, it was too expensive. And twice I had the money in my room and twice our house got robbed. After that, I just started throwing money in the bank. And by then I had to buy a 10 speed to get back and forth to work. Because I had a, a job and school. I mean, that that's just the way we did it back then. But uh, this came up in the classifieds for sale in South Jersey. It was an hour and a half away. And I grabbed the wife and said, let's roll. Um, I get down there and I look the bike over. I'm actually really ecstatic. No real damage, no dents, no cracks. It appears to be all original. Um, and the lady was telling me, uh, you know, after I paid for the bike, uh, she's like, you're not gonna believe what I paid for this. I'm like, well, let me guess, you picked it out of the garbage. And she says, well, I may as well have, I got it for $5. I'm like, oh my God, God bless you. Well, you know what? Whatever, you deserve it. And you know, you know it's, it's come to me and I don't care what the price was. Um, I could tell you it was a third of the price of what they normally go for. So let's take a closer look at it. It was definitely ridden hard and put it away wet. It was definitely enjoyed uh, by the owner at, at its time. Uh, we could see a considerable, uh, a considerable amount of uh, road rash or dump rash from when you dump the bike on the, on the lawn or the concrete. Um, pedals are pretty hammered. KKTs. The bike surprisingly is not dented or broken or whatever. It's got the Araya wheels. You gotta clean them up. And the Sun Suez uh, hubs. I mean, literally, this is the way I would have wanted this bike when I was a kid. Hands down. I mean, the only other thing was cooler to me were the uh, nickel plated bikes with either the blue or the red anodized parts on them. Some had gold. Let me put the tire on wrong. It's definitely in the wrong direction. There's an arrow in here somewhere. It tells you which direction it goes. The original sticker, there. And it's got a Suncor, Suncor head. Racing and the bars. I heard they're hard to find. And I, I'm not a hardcore collector, so I really wouldn't know. I have two of these now. The uh, sticker is under there. I tried to move the seat post up, but it is frozen. And I don't want to put any heat on it. So I keep soaking it down for now. Let's see what happens later. Diacom brakes. I don't know what year they are. I'll have to flip the bike over and see. They should be to the year of the bike. Shimano lever. I had to free the brake cable up. It was frozen. And there you have it. Very rare Redline Proline BMX bike. It's going to be a wall hanger. It's not for sale. Uh, get that seat up maybe I'll take it to swap meets who knows but uh, thanks for checking out my find have a good day and happy hunting bye